You know, I was gonna make a video about the replayability in Fallout. I thought everything out and I knew what I wanted to talk about, but that's a topic where my opinion keeps changing. For example, I was thinking games like Fallout 3 and New Vegas, you know, the replayability is way different from Fallout 4 because after you beat Fallout 3 or New Vegas, you could play the game for a second time that's completely different from the first time you play it. And for Fallout 4, I was thinking it was a game that you play once, but for a long ass time. I do think this is true for the most part. Uh, the more and more I play Fallout 4, I'm thinking of a few different ways I could play the game, like maybe a melee build or just building into different skills and perks. Um, there aren't a lot that come to mind, but you can choose like a different faction and like I just said, use a certain weapon type. And that leads into the idea of this video, and that is the specific way you can play Fallout. I will also be talking about the way I like to play Fallout. And for the most part of this video, I will be referring to Fallout 4, but a lot of the things I did in Fallout 4, I also did in Fallout 3. Now, when it comes to playing these types of games like Fallout, the way you play usually depends on like your personality or just the way you view RPGs. You can play these games like freaking Satan and kill everyone who's a good guy and you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, you could also play like a troll and not really give a shit, you know, mess with the NPCs when you talk to them. And then there's me, which is the morally good guy, and I think a lot of people play this way also. You know, when I play Fallout, I like to be freaking Jesus, man. Like, it's just the way I play these types of games. I feel like it's the best way to experience a game like Fallout the first time around. You learn the characters and the ins and outs of the game. For example, like now that I beat Fallout 3 as a goddamn saint, now I could be an asshole to Amita or, you know, those kids at Little Lamplight because no one likes those little kids at Little Lamplight. Man, fuck those kids! Okay, okay, I need to calm down, but let's get real. No one likes those kids at Little Lamplight. They're just a bunch of little assholes. Anyway, I just like how there's many different ways to play Fallout depending on how creative you are and how much you enjoy the game. You see, in my case, I think I'll replay Fallout 3 and New Vegas a max of two or three times. Probably two times, you know, as a good guy and as like freaking Hitler. You know, evil as shit, not giving, you know, not, no sympathy, you know, going all in on being evil. And no one get offended, I'm, I'm Jewish, and if I don't care, you can't care, that's my logic here. Moving on, <laughs> the reason why I don't think I'll play each Fallout as much as I want to is because, like I said in earlier videos, I just want to play other games too, man. Like, I like Fallout so much, when I'm in a playthrough, I just can't play other games that I want to play. At least single player games, because I could still play multiplayer games with my friends. Uh, like right now at this moment, I own games that I can't even play because I'm still beating Fallout 4. Just so you know how serious this is, I'll tell you some of the games that I want to play and I can't because I like Fallout 4 too much. And some of these games are top quality, just really good games. Okay, these games are Half-Life 2, Metro 2033, and Metro Last Light. Just Cause 2, the entire Bioshock franchise, and a few less popular games called Jazz Punk and Wasted. That's about 10 or so games I can't play because I'm enjoying Fallout 4 so much. That's legit the reason why I won't play New Vegas for a while. You know, as a gamer, I need to play other games, and Fallout has me completely sucked in right now. It's like a curse and a blessing. I'd also like to get a little off track right now and just discuss my new respect that I have for Bethesda because after playing the Fallout games and then even discovering that they also made Skyrim, I have a much new respect for Bethesda and there's a very select group of developers and publishers that I respect and love so much and Bethesda now is definitely up there. And for those of you, I guess, who are a little curious, other developers I really like are Treyarch, Bungie, Rockstar, and the one I think that is different from all these developers and not even throw the word genius in there is id Software. 
And since this video isn't about developers, I'll just leave this part off of saying, uh, it created Doom, Wolfenstein, and Quake. Enough said. This actually gives me an idea to talk about developers in the future, so maybe look out for that. Anyway, like I said, I keep getting sidetracked on different topics, just cause I like voicing my opinion. But let's get back to Fallout. And that's where I'd like to ask you guys, do you prefer being the good guy or evil on your first playthrough of Fallout, your very first one? I can see where it matters which Fallout I'm talking about, cause someone could be evil in Fallout 3 in New Vegas but couldn't be evil in Fallout 4. In my opinion, it's better to be the good guy in Fallout 4 because it just fits with the story and some of the quests you do. Uh, the only way I can imagine it's better to be evil in Fallout 4 is to buy Nuka World and go there as soon as you can, and then to raid all the settlements. Actually, the more I think about it, that sounds pretty damn cool, so if you want another way to play Fallout 4 and you haven't thought about that yet, that sounds like a cool way to play the game. Anyway, but like I said earlier, I'm probably not going to play Fallout more than once. I've invested too much time into the game for me to play it twice. So far, I'm a level 80, and I still plan on going strong without slowing down. I still have to finish Nuka World, and I'm sure Far Harbor will give me a lot of time to play Fallout 4. I honestly still find it amazing the time you could put into Fallout. I know someone's thinking you could probably put a lot more hours into other games, but I haven't played those games yet, so it's cool to me the time you could put into a first-person shooter RPG type game like Fallout. It's like if you enjoy Fallout enough to keep playing and playing, you'll at least get 50 or 60 hours minimum. And if you really like Fallout and buy all the DLCs and play it until there's nothing left to do, you'll probably get 150 to 500 hours. Now the reasons why those numbers are so spread out is because I figure there's two types of completionists in games like Fallout. The first one will pretty much find every location, finish the main story, and do a lot of side quests. You know, typical stuff you'll do in Fallout if you really enjoy the game. And then the second type of completionist will take it to a whole another level and do time-consuming stuff like everything I said earlier. And, you know, stuff like collect every bobblehead, unlock every perk, collect each type of gun, complete every side quest and make something impressive at every settlement in Fallout 4, you know, just crazy stuff like that. I'm definitely the first type of completionist. Don't get me wrong, I really do enjoy Fallout, but I don't think I'll like any game enough to be that second type of person. I already feel like I got my time's worth in Fallout 4, and I'm still going, so there's no way in hell I'm gonna get to like 200, level 200 or some shit. That's just too insane for me, and like I said earlier, I really want to play some other games, so there's no way in hell I'm doing that. But yeah, guys, that's where I end with this video. I just find it interesting that there's so many ways to play Fallout, and I thought it was fun to talk about the way I play and the many different types of way to play Fallout. I could go more in depth with specific builds, but I just wanted to talk about the general idea of different ways to play Fallout. I'd also like to know how you guys play Fallout, because I wonder if most people play the good guy like me. I feel like it's the way to experience the most in the first playthrough of a Fallout game, and I'm willing to bet that most people play Fallout once. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Again, comment the way you specifically play Fallout. Finally, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.